Welcome to this video. Here we will consider the question that you see on the slide behind me. So we are given a function f of two variables x and y and the function is the logarithm, the natural logarithm of 4 minus x squared minus y squared. And the question being asked is to find the domain of the function. So what you should realize here is that if you're being asked for the domain of the function, then we are looking for the largest collection of x and y values for which the expression makes sense. So basically the x and y values for which you can evaluate this function. So maybe it's a good idea to try and think of this yourself. So maybe you can pause the video and then after what's if you have thought about this a little bit see if your answer matches one of the five options given and then i will answer the question so this would be a good point to pause the video so i hope you try to answer the question yourself i'm not going to consider the five options given here but i'm just going to look at the function itself try to solve the question and then see if my answer is in there. So let's see, we have the natural logarithm of the expression 4 minus x squared minus y squared. Now, what you should think of is that the expression ln of some argument that I denote z here is defined for positive z values. So z should be bigger than 0 not equal to zero. As you may recall, if you draw the graph of the function, so if I would put z here and up here, I would have y. And if I would try to plot y equals l and z, then the function looks like this, right? So y equals l and z. Um, so what you see in particular is that it does not exist for z equals zero. So here, it has an asymptote. If z goes to zero from the positive side, um, then the function ln z goes to minus infinity. So we have most of what we need now. So what you now can say with this knowledge is that the function is defined when the argument, so this 4 minus x squared minus y squared is positive. So the condition we have is that 4 minus x squared minus y squared should be larger than 0. And we can rewrite it a little bit by adding x squared and adding y squared to both sides of the equation. And then we find 4 is larger than x squared plus y squared. Or if you like, x squared plus y squared is less than 4. So in the plane, if you would draw the circle with the radius two, then all the points inside that circle are in the domain. And if you look at the options given, then you see that apparently D is the correct answer because it considers all X, Y values in the plane for which, so you can pronounce this for which, the condition X squared plus Y squared is less than four holds. So that answers this question on the domain of a function of two variables. I'll see you in the next video.